Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install an Amazon Basics Smart Dimmer. So this Smart Dimmer is going to allow you to control your device from either an Amazon Alexa and or your smartphone. So here's the Amazon Basics Dimmer, or also known as the Amazon Dimmer. You've got a plus symbol at the top and a minus symbol right down below it. Those are the dimming controls, and then this button right here is on or off. So the first thing you need to know about this before you get installing is that it does require a neutral wire. We have another video that shows you how to identify a neutral wire if your house has one. Typically, most homes built after the 1980s are going to have a neutral wire in the switch box. So now that that's out of the way, we can go ahead and start installing this Amazon dimmer. And in order to do that, what we need to do is make sure that we've got the power off to this light switch. So we've turned it off at the circuit breaker. You wanna make sure that you get the power turned off at the circuit breaker and that this light that it is connected to no longer turns on. Another good way to check the power is to use a non-contact voltage meter. So we've got one here. And uh, what it will do is uh, if you hold it up to this and there's power or live electrical current, it's going to beep as well as indicate with a light. So we don't have any power here. We're good to go. And uh, we made sure that we turned off the power at the circuit breaker. Then remove the two screws that are holding the cover plate on. Uh, once you get the cover plate off, it is always a good idea to use that non-contact voltage meter if you have one or a multimeter. If you have one to check and make sure the power is off again, you can never be too safe. But uh, if you've got that circuit breaker off and your lights are not on and you've used a non-contact voltage meter, uh, you're pretty safe there. So once we get the cover plate off, we're going to then remove the two screws uh, that are holding this light switch in place and use our non-contact voltage meter again to check and make sure that there is no power so let's see if there's anything detected no so we are double safe there and we're ready to remove this light switch so just use your screwdriver and remove the two screws holding the light switch into the junction box now that we've got the screws loosened up from the junction box, we can pull the light switch away here and see what we're working with. Once we've got the electrical switch removed from the junction box, we can go ahead and identify the wires. So here we've got our white wires. These are our neutral wires. So we are good to go to install this switch. We've got neutral wires here. So we're going to be able to install those. Now on your existing light switch, if it was wired right, you're going to have a hot wire and a load wire. Now, typically if the light switch is in the proper orientation, the load wire, which goes up to the light fixture, is going to be the top wire on the switch. And the bottom wire on the switch is going to be the hot wire. Now, that's not always the case because sometimes mistakes are made uh, with single pull switches. So another way to identify which one is the hot wire and which one is the load wire um, is that you can take this wire and just look and see, does this one go up or does it go down? And typically since light fixtures are in the ceiling, um, that wire is going to go up in through the wall with that electrical wiring to your light fixture. So that is another way to help identify if it is a hot wire or if it is a load wire. So this is our load wire here, this top terminal. Um, and you can see here uh, on the on off, if it's uh, oriented correctly, the on is down here at the bottom and the off is up here at the top. And then down here, uh, we've got our hot wire. That's the incoming power and that's coming from down below. We're on a second floor right now. So that's typical. Uh, you've usually got electrical panels in a basement, maybe on a first floor. And if you're on the second floor, that wire uh, that is going out of this switch to the light fixture is typically the top terminal and it's typically going up through the wall and the wire on the bottom that is typically the hot wire and that's going down to your electrical box. Now there's some other ways that you can do that uh, and identify those, but for most people that's going to hold true uh, which one is the hot and which one is the load terminal. We've also got our ground wire here. So we're just gonna start disconnecting all these wires now that we've identified what we've got. So I recommend using some electrical tape to identify which one is the hot wire, just to mark that because we've got two black wires here. It just makes it a little bit easier uh, so that you don't get anything mixed up once you take all the wires off the terminals. I also recommend taking a picture of what you've got uh, in marking those wires with electrical tape. So if you do have a mix up with your load wire and your hot wire, you can quickly identify which wires those were and then wire it the correct way. So we're gonna do that now, mark one of these with electrical tape and then take off all of the wires from the existing terminals on the light switch. We've got our hot wire marked. Let's remove the electrical terminals and the wires from those terminals. 
Now we remove the ground wire. We've got our Amazon Basics Smart Dimmer right here. We're ready to get this connected to the existing wiring. So we know right here that's our hot wire because we marked it with that extra piece of electrical tape. And on the back of here, we've got everything marked out on the switch. So you can see we've got our ground wire, our load wire is this red wire, the white wire is our neutral wire, and the black wire is our line wire, or hot wire. Line and hot are used interchangeably. So what I'm going to do now is uh, take these wires, just straighten them out, and then use the wire nuts to connect them. So the first one I'm gonna connect is the hot to hot or line to hot as it's shown on the back of the device. So we've got our two wires ready to connect here. I'm just gonna trim this one down just a little bit for a more appropriate length for the wire nut. Uh, just use a pair of pliers or a pair of wire cutters for that. So we'll use our uh, pliers right here and just cut that. Use the wire nut and secure the two wires together and twist those till you've got a nice tight connection there. So we've got our hot and line wire connected uh, right here. So we're ready to now connect our load wire, which is this other black wire up here at the top, to our red load wire on the switch here. So I'm just gonna straighten this out and do the same thing that I did with the hot wire. Trim it down a little bit. Now we're going to connect the load wire to the load wire and secure them with a wire nut. We've got our hot wire secured and now we've got our load wire secured. What we've got left is our neutral wire here and it's already wired up with a wire nut to another neutral wire connecting the two pieces of wire in the wall. So what we're gonna do is remove that wire nut and then we're going to just add our white wire uh, from the back of the switch where it says neutral to this bundle of white wires or neutral wires already in the wall. So if we take the white wire from the switch, we're going to wrap it around and then we're going to secure it with a wire nut. We've got our switch mostly wired up and the only wire we have left is the ground wire right down here. That's the bare unshielded or uninsulated wire. So we're gonna connect the ground wire to the green wire here, which is a ground wire on the switch. And then we're ready to reinstall the switch in the existing junction box. So we're just gonna straighten this out a little bit and then connect the two with a wire nut. We've got all the wires secured to our new Amazon Smart Switch or Amazon Basics Smart Dimmer. So all we need to do now is gently fold the wires back into the junction box and then we're going to secure this to the junction box with the screws that were provided in the new light switch container. We've got the wires folded in, so now we can take our screws, insert them into the light switch and just go ahead and secure those to the junction box. Now we've got the light switch secured in the junction box and we've installed our Amazon Smart Dimmer switch. We're ready to get our phone out and start getting this connected. So now we're gonna move over to the phone and the app and get this set up on the app so that we can control it from our phone. Now, before we put the cover plate on and set this up on the app, we wanna make sure that we restore the power to this and check it out and make sure that it is working, that we can turn it on and off. So right now, we're gonna go back down to the circuit breaker and turn the power on. It's also important to note, don't put the cover plate on because there's a QR code here that you're going to need in order to get this set up on the Amazon Alexa app, as well as add this to your account so you can control it from your phone. So we're gonna go turn the power on right now at the circuit breaker. All right, we turned the power on and you can see it got a whole lot brighter in here so you can press that on and off. Our switch is working properly and you can dim it or you can make it brighter right here. So I'm just going to leave it on right now and adjust the brightness on the camera a little bit while we record what we're gonna be doing on our phone. Now we need to set up the device on the Alexa app. So we've got the Alexa app open right here and if you don't have it, download it. 
set it up, use your same username and password as you have for your Amazon account if you want to get the most out of this device with ALEXA devices. And once you've got this set up, you can not only use it on your phone, turn it on and off, but you're able to use voice commands with Alexa to control this. So once you open that up, sometimes the light switch will pop up automatically uh, as a notification here and you just click continue. But if that does not happen, what you're going to do is click down here at the bottom on devices. And then we're going to click up here at the top on the plus symbol, and that is for adding a device. Now we select add a device down here, so we click on that. And we've got some different devices here. We're installing a switch, so we click on that. It says what brand is your switch? Amazon Basics. We have an Amazon dimmer or an Amazon Basics dimmer. And now we're going to click on the dimmer, the top option right here. It says connect your Amazon Basics dimmer switch to Alexa. It says make sure you've got Bluetooth, camera, and location turned on. So we're gonna make sure we have all that turned on here. We do have it turned on, so we're going to click next. Now it says scan the barcode. There's a QR code underneath here. I'm gonna scan that real quick. So scan yours and then the light switch setup should pop up on your phone. Once we scan the QR code, it says looking for your Amazon Basics smart dimmer switch. Make sure your device is powered on and our device is powered on. In our first attempt, we failed at getting the switch set up. That just means we need to put it into pairing mode. It says make sure your device is powered on and then press and hold the power button your switch until the LED flashes green and red. So we're just going to hold this down until it starts flashing green and red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about, about 10 seconds. Let's click next. Looking for your Amazon Basics dimmer switch. So if you're able to turn on your power and get this set up, when you turn that circuit breaker on relatively quickly, uh, then you probably won't have to put it back into pairing mode. But if it takes you a while, you're gonna have to put it into pairing mode just by holding this down for 10 seconds here, and then you're gonna be able to set it up. So it found it, and now it wants us to select a Wi-Fi network. So we're going to select our Wi-Fi network up here, and then we're going to connect to our Amazon Basics dimmer switch. If you don't already have a Wi-Fi network saved, you're gonna need to enter your password and check that Wi-Fi network. Now it says the Amazon Basics dimmer switch is connected. We're going to click next. It says, where is your switch? We're gonna call this one bedroom two, and we're going to skip uh, right there. It says first switch is set up and ready to use. So now we could use this uh, with Amazon Alexa voice commands to turn it on and off. Now that the Amazon Smart Dimmer is connected, we're just back in the Amazon app and we're at the Devices tab. That's where you go. Once you've set this up, it automatically takes you there, but that is just one of these options down here at the bottom of the app, the Alexa app. So now we're just gonna click up here on switches and I've got all kinds of switches in here because I test out a lot of stuff and set up a lot of stuff. So ignore all that devices that uh, aren't set up here. It labeled this switch first switch when we set it up. So let's click here and then we're gonna be able to control it. So we can turn it on from our phone, we can turn it off from our phone, and we can adjust or use the dimming and brightness feature here. So you can see it probably in the background changing the light levels. Now, if I wanna change the name, I can click up here and I can edit the name. Right now it's called first switch. It gives you all kinds of information down here. Uh, can't show you down here, but that's just the serial number and uh, software versions. So we click back here and we can turn it on or off from our phone. Now let's see if we can turn it off and using the Alexa voice commands. Alexa, turn off first switch. Alexa, turn on first switch. All right, so we've set up and installed the Amazon Basics Smart Dimmer and we've connected it to Alexa. So you can now turn it on and off with your voice using Alexa voice commands. So the only thing we have left to do is take the cover plate and install it on the switch and we're all set. Peel the mounting bracket off the back of the cover plate and then you're just going to install it with the two little screws that were provided in the bag with the device. So we've got our two screws and we just screw those in 
And then we can install that cover plate once we get these both attached. Now, all we need to do is snap the cover in place. Once we've got the cover on, we are complete. Our Amazon Basics Smart Dimmer has been installed. We can turn it on and off from the switch. We can then dim or adjust the dimming levels right from the switch or turn those dimming levels up or down. We can also use the phone to adjust those or we can use Alexa voice commands to control it. So thank you for watching this video on how to install and set up an Alexa smart dimmer or an Amazon smart dimmer switch. These are right from Amazon, a pretty good deal. So go ahead, click the links below if you wanna find this switch or if you've got any other questions or need help with any other items of this. Thank you for watching. Give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.